Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. Today we are going to learn about relative layout and we'll see a few examples of it to understand it better. So let's see what is relative layout. Relative layout is used to arrange your views in relative manner. You can arrange the views relative to their parent or with other views. Let's see an image to understand this relative layout better. Now in this image, suppose this brown border represents a parent and this view 1 is relatively placed according to its parent like the left edge of view 1 is relatively placed with left edge of its parent and the top edge of view 1 is also relatively placed with the top edge of parent. Now in case of view 2, view 2 says that I am relatively placed downward of view 1. View 1 is another child view of this container. Also in case of view 3, it is relatively placed in according to view 2 as well as the parent. Like its right edge is relative to the right edge of the container and it is appearing to the right of the view 2. So that's how views are placed relatively inside a container. Either they are relative to the parent or they are relative to the other child views. So this rendering is based on the attributes that we specify. So let's see what are these attributes and understand how we can use them to render a specific layout. As we saw that views can be placed relative to the parent. So these are the attributes that we can specify to arrange the views relatively to the parent. These attributes accept true false as a value and according to that the android engine renders the view. Now this attribute says align parent top. So if we specify true value to this then the top edge of the child view will be aligned with the top edge of the parent container. Similarly in case of align parent right the right edge of the view will be aligned with the right edge of the parent container. The other available attributes behave similarly. There are other attributes as well in case of parent. Let's see what are these. So these are the attributes which are used to align the view in center position relative to the parent. Either we can align it horizontally or vertically or both using center in parent. So let's see this in code. So here you can see that there is a basic relative layout. There is no control inside it. Now let's understand the relative layout using the design bar. I'm dragging a button inside my view. Now as soon as I start dragging it, I can see that there are two properties, align parent left and align parent top. I've aligned the control towards the left of the screen. So it's showing me align parent left without margin. And in case of align parent top, it is showing me margin. And as I take it towards the leftmost corner, then there will be no margin at all. And it will be align parent left and align parent top only. Now similarly, if I drag it down to the bottom, then there will be only align parent left and align parent bottom. Now suppose I drop it here. Now let's see what XML has been generated for this view. Now here we can see if I want to align the bottom edge of my view to the bottom of the screen, then I have to specify align parent bottom equal to true. And similarly, to keep it in the leftmost corner, I have to specify align parent left so that the left edge of the button remain in sync with the left edge of the parent container. Let's avoid this start. So I am deleting this. Now if I want to use align parent right and if I specify the value as true. So now I can see that the right edge of my button is now touching the right edge of the screen. So here it will ignore the layout width and it will touch the screen from both the side. So this way you can arrange your child views according to your parent container using these attributes. So I'm removing these attributes for now. Now as soon as I remove the attribute, I can see that the button is now placed in the leftmost corner. This is the default placing of any view inside the relative layout. To distinguish this button, let's specify some text to it. I'm specifying button 1. Let's give it an ID, btn1. Now if I want to centrally align this button horizontally, I'll use center horizontal and I can see that the button is now horizontally centered. Now if I want to change it to vertically centered, I'll just use center vertical attribute and specify equal to true. See, now if I want to center the button both vertically and horizontally, I'll use another attribute that is center in parent and specify equal to true. This renders the button in the centermost position of the screen. So this way you can align your view centrally inside the layout. So these were the attributes that were related to the parent. Now let's see how views can be placed relative to the other views that are present in the container. 
So these are the attributes that are useful for that. These attributes are similar to the parent attributes, but here is a slight difference. The parent attribute used to take true false as values, but here the value of the attribute would be the ID of the other view relative to which the view has to be aligned. So let's see in code how we can do this. Now here let's make a copy of this button. I'll just change the text to button 2 and give it an ID. Now I'll remove the center and parent attribute as well. So now you can see that button 2 is visible. Now if I want that my button 2 top should align with the button 1 stop. So I'll just use align top attribute. Now I'll just assign the value as the ID of BTN1. Now I can see that the top edge of both the buttons are aligned. Similarly, you can use align right. Now if I change it to align right, you can see that the right edge of both the buttons are now aligned together. This way you can use align attributes to place your views accordingly as per other views. So there are other attributes as well. Let's also see these in our code. Now I'm removing align right attribute which I was using. Now we can see that there is an attribute with the name as to write off. Let's use this. I'll specify the ID. Now we can see that now the button 2 is appearing in the right of button 1. Let's do one thing more. Let's align the bottom of these two buttons together. I'll use align bottom. Now you can see that both the buttons are aligned from the bottom and button 2 is appearing in the right of button 1. So this way you can align your views inside the relative layout and create the desired screen. In our next lecture, we will be designing the view for our app so you can understand relative layout better. You can also refer to our site cheesycode.com for the article. This is the article from the ongoing series. You can read it, use the code to understand the layout better. If you are facing any issue, do comment on this post or, or on the video anywhere you want. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more such videos and share it among your friends. Thanks for watching.